Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a Italian villa house tour. So <laughs> my parents' cat's meowing. Oh my gosh, you guys, my voice has just gotten worse and worse as each day has passed out here. So we just got in pretty late last night um, and we just like went to grab some food. We actually went to McDonald's, which my husband told me not to do when I was out here because that's like the worst, but it's so much different than um, the States. Like it's just, I don't know, it's just different. But um, I did like a little quick house tour last night. Um, my parents showed me around and oh my goodness, you guys, one, this house is big and two, it's amazing. Um, the cat is like, <laughs> begging for attention hi kitty okay so my parents um have gone to get some groceries oh my gosh you guys it's so bright up here so i just woke up at like 11 30 um the kids are upstairs playing on the second floor and um I figured I would just do this house tour before my parents got back from getting groceries. So they have this little like ramp to get up and a little cul-de-sac out there. But this is their entire place. It's crazy. Walking down this little ramp last night with all of the suitcases was insane. So we'll just start at the front door, which seriously my stepmom has like the best decorations i suck at decorating our house so this is kind of what you see when you walk in you have like a little area here and this is the kitchen and dining area like the ceilings are so tall they got this whole shelf thing from ikea and this is their kitchen seriously so much cabinet space and this part, it's like an extra little counter, but you lift it up and then you can cook and stuff. But I noticed this last night. I was like, why the heck are there eggs sitting out? But apparently in the stores here, they sell eggs like on the shelf with everything else. Um, it's not like refrigerated. So this is the whole living dining area. The living area is over there. I'll go over there in a second. Um, but this is one of the bathrooms which is seriously bigger than both of my bathrooms put together back at home. It's crazy. Of course they have bidets like everywhere. Seriously, this house is just massive. Um, and then you come over here and you have like your dishwasher, which they said they don't really use washer and dryer. They have so much recycling. Um, this was all just from our stuff from last night. So I don't know, I think that's glass. That's paper and that's plastics. Um, and then there's like a half bath kind of in here. Um, seriously, you guys, I just want to move to Italy. All of their AC units are like Puerto Rico. They're just kind of like out like that um, in the main area. So this is the living area. This is actually their couch from back home. Um, and apparently these they got in a market somewhere on the island. Um, and it was actually like old parts of a wheelbarrow. Oh, I have to sneeze. <laughs> and then this room here is like their pantry. I think they got these shelves from Ikea too. Literally all of the new stuff that they bought at this house is from Ikea. So that's their little pantry. And this is all the first floor. So this is the room I'm staying in. It's a little bit of a mess right now. I haven't made the bed yet. Um, and I have to do laundry. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, so this is actually another part of the couch from out there. It goes in like the corner. But they're just using it as like a sitting area here. So this is the bed. Also from Ikea, this whole like mattress like moves up. There's like blankets and stuff underneath there. The bed is so comfortable. The pillows are comfortable. I've already like unloaded our clothes in there. Um, but seriously, this room is like pretty big. Um, and then next door, oh, which I forgot to show you guys. So there's like this little cutout opening and my sister's room is right on the other side. Um, 
And she's actually still asleep right now and it's like after 12 o'clock, maybe almost 1 o'clock. But she has such a cute room. I seriously love it. Um, so like pretty much everything in here is from Ikea. But seriously, such a cute room. Such big rooms too. And then there's the staircase to get up to the second floor. Um, so let's go see what the kids are up to because it just got really quiet. One of the things about this house though is if the kids are on the second floor, you can hardly hear them um, from the first floor unless they've gone outside, which I told Eliana not to do from yesterday. And they have all these cute little like signs out here. So this is what the outside looks like. That's like the whole parking area and stuff. But it is so pretty out here. I just want to move out here. And last night you could hear music from the balcony. So that's up to the third floor. I'll go up there later. Um, so this is their like computer area. The kids playroom. What are you guys doing? Oh, you guys got quiet. And this is like another sitting area. All the kids were actually going to sleep here because it kind of pulled out a little. But um my two younger siblings go to bed too early for Eliana, so she came downstairs and she was playing with us so and this is actually one of the couches i was looking at getting from ikea too so that is their whole kids play area sitting area and then here's my brother's room they have just made a mess of it <laughs> but my dad actually built the, built this back in maine for him um and he had like bean bags and stuff under there uh, before but this is <laughs> literally they just did this in the time that they woke up um, and then he's got an AC unit in here lucky and this is one of the um, closets that the military loaned them and this is also from Ikea and this I saw this yesterday so <laughs> he's got all of his you know toys and stuff in here and this sign says Bobby's rocks he has a huge rock collection um, and then this right here says Bobby's bags for his rocks and he's got these little Ziploc bags and little cute bags in there. Um, so he ha actually has a door leading out to their terrace. Um, and this is their bathroom. Seriously, still pretty big, big tub. May, you don't have clothes on. Come over here real quick. I'm doing Bobby, one. and this is May's room. Oh, sorry, May. She doesn't have clothes on right now, so I'm not about to put her in the video. All mm -hmm. white, very pretty. Okay. They said they're doing Eliana's hair and makeup. Yeah, I got that for Christmas. See all these? Oh my goodness, they're doing her hair and makeup. And so this. Mama. Whoo, guys, it's hot in here. Table. Opens out. What? Oh, you can already feel the heat from outside on this handle. How do you open this? I'll do it. Oh, never mind. I found it. Okay. Oh, no. Nope. That's the that's the shades. Wait, it doesn't open. Mine is broken. So you only have to use the box. Hold on. Let me see. I'll go to another door. I'll go to another door. It's okay, though. Wait, no, I got it. No, it's fine. Leave it. I just it. had it. Oh, yep, he got it. Oh, he's stronger than I am. So there's it's like, cool. Look what to it. oh yeah, I saw it yesterday. So this terrace wraps all the way, almost all the way around the house. Um, I think that's maybe by the stairs. I forget. So it goes all the way out here. That's Bobby's room. They have this whole open terrace and they actually had a hammock. I think they took it down. Um, and they have this whole yard. Hold on. Um, this whole. Yeah, she's naked. Um, this whole yard. They had put a pool up before they left, but I guess there was like some really crazy winds and it like kind of knocked it over. Um, but they have all of that. I think they said they had orange trees out here somewhere. Maybe it's that one right there. I see some orange things. Um, but yeah, the, the pool kind of broke apart, so Dad has to fix it. Yeah, they have orange trees. So this, I forgot. So that whole thing is the terrace. This goes, I think, to, like, the living area. Um, yeah. So I had some oranges on it, but it looks like maybe they're kind of dying off. I see a bunch on the ground. 
Um, but they have all of this. Last night when we were doing a tour, I heard some like shaking around in this tree and I got so scared. So this also goes to the living area. But it wraps all the way around. Ooh, I just stepped in something. And this is the other side door and I think that's an entrance you can walk through, but it's always locked. Um, and this is just again looking down. Seriously, their house and just the land here is so expansive. And you guys, they only pay $1,400 a month for this house. And it is huge. Obviously, like, you never get something like that in the States because it's crazy expensive over there. But I am so wanting to move to Italy. It's so beautiful out here. Okay. Are they outside? Yeah. Oh, I just locked them out. Wait, hold on. Eliana? I think they're downstairs. Come on. Oh yeah, they're not down, they're not outside yet. So those entrance entrance to the to the um don't go outside just yet to the terrace there. Again, that's where I showed you guys before. So these are marble stairs to get up to the third floor. The views here. Seriously, they're just amazing. I'm gonna show you guys from my parents' terrace. You can see Mount Etna, and they could see it erupting like a few weeks back. So that's a window that opens up. Now this, this was, this, I could have been a fifth bedroom, but they're using it as like a walk-in closet makeup room. So again, um, all of these are what the military is like loaning them. Oh my gosh, you guys getting up those stairs, I'm telling you it's insane. So, this is all of the, um, I guess all of my stepmom stuff, makeup, like pretty much everything, toiletries, so. Oh my gosh. My throat, my nose. And you come in here, it's a bit of a mess, because like I said, we just got back last night, so things are crazy. Um, but they actually only have a shower, and it's like pretty tiny. Um... But yeah, this is their bathroom. Oh, I didn't even see the shelf around here the other day. Yesterday, I guess. So, that is their bathroom. And then this is their room. Oh my gosh, they have an AC unit in here. I thought it was only the main areas. Ugh, lucky. It's pretty hot outside, so this is their room. Really, really nice. And huge too, it's crazy. And then all of the floors have this tile. I said it reminded me a lot of Puerto Rico because that's oops, I didn't turn off their light. There we go. Um, and I think this, yeah, this way. So this is their terrace. Oh, oh it's bright. I gotta give myself a second. So, so bright. Look at the views from their terrace. Let me see so like I said this is all the island of Sicily and that up there is like a little church um, and you can just see everything along there and then if you guys can like see back in there the, the clouds are kind of covering the peak a little bit but over there is Mount Etna and I could see it like erupting I remember they posted videos of it um, on Facebook, you could just see like the smoke and like the, the lava, which is crazy. So they have their own little private balcony just overlooking everything, or I guess terrace. Um, this is just so, so insane. You can see so much. I think it was last night. There is some kind of like tennis club or something over there. And they were playing like music and oh, guys, look at that pool. The neighbor's pool. Oh, Mad calls that the fancy house. That is a huge in-ground pool. Holy crap. And they literally have palm trees all around it. That is so cool. Um, so they have such amazing views over here. I just can't wait to see everything. And this looks down into their yard too. So, um, today, oh my gosh, you guys, it's so, so bright. Today is just going to be kind of a rest and relax day. I've been saying the last few days that my, ooh, you guys just got a close up of all my zits, um, that the 
last few days because we've just been at Disney and we've been going, going, going. So I haven't really had time to just like get like a good eight hours of sleep because my sleep has been thrown off. I go to sleep at like 2 a.m. and then we would wake up at like 7 or 8 to go into Disneyland. So last night I think we went to sleep at 2 a.m. And then I got up at like 11.30. So at least I got like, you know, a good, what, nine hours. So I think I should be fine now. Um, but yeah, we're just going to take today to kind of rest and relax. This is our full, uh, this is our first full day in Sicily. And I think tomorrow, you know, she said she's going to take us to see something. But I cannot believe we're here. It's still just, it just doesn't feel real like it's crazy i don't know how to describe it um but like we were flying in and i could see mount etna and just like the whole island and the shoreline and it's just so crazy oh i think they're pulling in now they were at the grocery store um it's just so crazy to think that we are so far away from home oh they're pulling in they just went to pick up their dog stella and i actually have to go help them with the groceries so i'm gonna go do that but again it's just so crazy that like I'm actually here, that Ileana's here, that we have this opportunity because honestly, I never thought we would have gotten this opportunity so soon. Um, but seriously, just amazing. Oh my goodness, you guys. To walk down these marble, this marble staircase is so, so scary. It's like really steep and tight. <laughs> Pretty, but steep and tight. Um, but yeah, so that is it for this house tour. I hope that you guys enjoy this because for me, I was just like completely taken aback. Like, it's just amazing. Um, but my parents are very fortunate to have this opportunity and they still can't even believe that they're out here. They never thought they would have left Maine um, after being there for 20 years. So it's just a new experience for all of us and just so amazing. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and let me know if you've ever been out here to Italy or you know where you guys have been. I think, just getting to travel is such an amazing experience. Seeing, seriously, a whole new world. I know I say that all the time, and maybe that sounds cheesy, but it's crazy. Um, yeah, it's just amazing. If you can travel, do it. Um, you know, make your dreams become a reality because I'm telling you, it's just so amazing. I was a little scared at first because I've never been this far away from the States, but <sighs> getting out of my comfort zone, that's, I feel like that's what I've been doing a lot this year. So yeah, that is it you guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't already so that you guys can see more of our Italy vlogs. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be seeing you guys in our next video. Bye guys.